Hello, Malcolm here, and welcome to Highlights from Hebrews, episode 32. Today we're in chapter 4 and looking at verses 8 to 11. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not have spoken later about another day. There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God, for anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from his. Let us, therefore, make every effort to enter that rest, so that none will perish by following their example of disobedience. So our writer mentions Joshua here. As you might know, the Hebrew word for Joshua, when translated into Greek, is the name Jesus. And surely the writer is using this deliberately. Because in the Greek, it doesn't say, for if Joshua had given them rest, in verse 8. It says, for if Jesus had given them rest. Now, I don't think the writer is confused, and he's not trying to confuse his readers, but when they heard that read to them, they would have realized that that earlier saviour, Joshua, wasn't able to give the people of Israel full rest in the way that God intended it. Certainly they had rest in the promised land and there were periods of peace and of conformity to God's will and intimacy with him and obedience. There were good times, but the rest was never completed and a read of the Old Testament shows that. No, there's another day, a day when another Joshua comes, a better, more su- a superior Joshua, Jesus comes. And he is the one who gives us this access into the true rest that we can have this Sabbath rest. The word Sabbath rest is sabbatismos, which is a word not used anywhere else. It's not been found anywhere. It looks as if our author made it up to express something that he realized was available, a Sabbath rest. I think it's a bit like Matthew 11, 28 to 30, when Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Are you experiencing that rest today? We get the already but not yet experience in the Christian life of already entering the rest but not yet fully experiencing it. Are you confident? Are you making every effort, as it says in verse 11, to enter that rest? Is there anything you could pray about today that would help you to be alert to anything that could prevent you from entering that rest? For it is surely God's will that you enter that rest. We'll end as we usually do with Hebrews 13, verses 20 and 21. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Until episode 33. God bless.